Hey y'all, it's Kim with the Can. I'm coming to you guys bald headed than a motherfucker. No, I'm just kidding. Hey y'all, it's Kim with the Can. I'm coming to you guys with a new video. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, will be a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm going to be talking about confidence and how cockiness is not confidence. Most cocky people ain't even confident. Okay, it's a joke. And I'm going to be talking about things that I would tell my younger self in regards to like confidence and self awareness and things of that nature. Um. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to remember everything that I was thinking because I was like literally driving home from work and I was like, I would love to do a video about this. And I was just like thinking and like brainstorming. I didn't write down or anything. So we'll see how this goes. Now these two little pieces right here trying to hold me back. Like why is it sticking out? I was trying to do something cute. I'm not bald, y'all. I got my hair in like a little bun. I need to wash my hair and um, I just didn't feel like washing it and I didn't feel like wearing a wig. So this is what I did with my hair for right now. So anyways. Let me not make this video any more longer than it is. My eyebrows are already done, but they're pretty much already on flea because I got them done yesterday, so I really didn't have to do much. So look at God, he'll do it. So let's go ahead and just jump into the video. I'm going to be first doing my um, eyeshadow. I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealers. I'm probably not going to say what products I'm using just to kind of make the video a little bit faster. Um, if I do end up saying them. Um, whatever to let it fly but um, I'm gonna just list all the products I'm using down in the description box below I haven't bought any new products um well I have a little bit but not really so um I'll just list the same products per usual as I do down below okay so I'm just gonna jump right into it, you guys so confidence okay it is I think that's a tough subject because I know um I watch a lot of YouTube videos just about a whole bunch of different things and some about like how to have confidence and I agree with them there's really no way for me to be like hey this is this formula to do for you to have confidence um for you to love yourself and things like that it kind of just um it's not something that you can teach but it's something that's learned with experience and through life um I know when I was younger like that was something that I struggled with not probably people around me didn't know that much but I dealt with a lot of self-doubt um and just I, I, I have to be as I'll be honest I don't think I really loved myself. I just didn't even know what love, loving yourself meant and the importance of it. Like, of course, people around you tell you this is important. You need to do this and the third. But, I mean, until you experience yourself, um, you don't really understand the importance of needing to love yourself no matter what. <laughs> There's other people around you that will love you. But if you love yourself, then nobody can take that away from you. Nobody. No situation. No obstacle nothing because you're so sure about yourself you love yourself no matter what happens um no matter what happens like if your face breaks out like mine i don't care because why i love myself regardless even my little pimple that's trying to come on my chin trying to hold me back i love my little you know my little kinks and coils that god blessed me with um you know i love that my body isn't perfect but i love what i have and i love the fact that um I can work out if I want to. I can eat what I want to if I don't care. Like, there's just so... I feel like loving yourself is, like, a choice you can actually make. I hope I'm making sense because I'm kind of rambling. There's a lot of things in life that you can't choose. Like, there's a lot of, like, choices you just can't make for yourself. Um, but loving yourself, accepting everything that comes to you, accepting everything about you is something that you can choose. So it's important because I feel like a lot of times in life, people are so worried about things that they cannot change, obstacles that happen... Um, life experiences that happen, just things in life that happen to you that you just have no control over. But loving yourself and having confidence is something that you can control. So, um, you know, like, love, like, embrace that. Like, you know, this is something that I actually control. It's lit. Kind of all over the place. Let me see if I can keep, like, a timeline. So, yeah, back, um, let's see. When I was really, really, really younger, like, maybe younger than middle school age so elementary of course i mean everything's great you're young you don't know anything like you really don't have that many worries like i've been my past is i've been through a lot but not like i don't know some extra stuff but i've been through a lot enough to um learn from life um, experiences i will say that um i've been blessed in a lot of ways to not experience some things i know working at the district attorney's office I mean, I just see all types of situations that come up, um, and I, it just makes me extremely blessed and aware that I'm blessed, that I haven't had to deal with a lot of extra things, a lot of just situations that are unfortunate, regardless of, um, regardless of the content of the situation. About middle school is when, um, I wouldn't say I was really bullied, but I mean, I guess you'd call it bullied, but I used to talk stuff back, so 
that was like my defense mechanism. I would just talk stuff back. So if somebody was trying to bully me, quote unquote, I would just be like, okay, well, you ugly. Your mama, you bald headed. Like, you get your daddy. That's why you got fucked up teeth. I don't know. I would just say something, you know? Um, but deep down, people's words were really hurting me. Like, people used to say, why you talk white? We're going to get to that. I'm going to say it now. I, don't, I hate that. People still do it to me to this day sometimes. Talk white like get out of here. Get out of, what does that even mean? But we're going we're gonna to keep it moving because it's on YouTube. You know we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it moving. I don't know what that means, but it's annoying. And stop that. Stop doing that to black people. Stop saying that. Stop. That's just so annoying. Let me talk how the fuck I want to talk. Let me, let me not cut. Let me talk how the heck I want to talk. Okay? Okay? Comprende? Comprende? So, um... Yeah, that was just something else I did with. And then um, people say, call me, um, how you black, but you ain't got no butt and no breast or whatever, titties, whatever they called it back then. Like, what? Like, it, but it really got to me. I was like, dang, your girl ain't got no titties, your girl ain't got no booty, I ain't gonna get no man when I get older. Like, it, it, it. And this is moving towards and more into high school, out of middle school. I really developed late. I know that's kind of like TMI, but I didn't have anybody or nothing. But now your girl slaying, so <laughs> people that slept on me, y'all was sleep. But yeah, so you never know. It's like you're so worried about what's going on in your life right then when you're going through like the weird, awkward development. You don't know really anything about life phase in middle school and high school. I promise you guys, it will get better. Like if you're in middle school or you're in high school, especially when you're in high school, like it will get better. These people don't even matter. I literally don't even talk to anybody from my high school. Like, okay, I do talk to a barely a handful, like barely a handful. I don't know. I just don't really care. Like y'all don't matter to me, honestly, to be straight up. Like, unless you um, are my friend or we've been in communication networking wise or something, like I don't have a problem with anybody from my high school. I'll, I'll say that I have no problem. But I just don't have anything to talk to you about. Like, we are not the same. Like, <laughs> or you did me dirty back then. Now you're trying to be my little friend friend. Like, no, Bob, swerve. Like, no. Because now I have self-confidence. So I can <laughs> swerve you to the next one. No, I'm just kidding. You think, like, situations that are happening right then. They're like, oh, my God, this is the end of the world. This is it. These people, uh, no one loves me. I don't care. No, but I'm telling you, if you have some confidence in yourself, no matter the decisions you make, no matter what people say to you, you will... You can brush it off easily because if you love your because you love yourself, you can literally brush it off so easily when you love yourself. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now don't get me wrong, people will still say some comments and I'll be, you know, it'll make me feel a little bit uneasy. I'll be like, hello. But um, but it's not like tra as traumatizing as it was when I was younger and I didn't have any self-confidence. Now when I say self-confidence, it wasn't like I wouldn't leave the home. That's what I said, you probably couldn't tell because I was so active and always friendly and talking to people i was in theater and i cheered for a quick moment and then what else theater was really my entire life and i volunteered you know i worked and all that kind of stuff but um ultimately i forgot where i was going with that i forgot damn a lot of times you can't tell when somebody isn't um confident or doesn't love themselves Unless it's like to an extreme where it's like a depression or something like that. I've gone through a phase of depression in my life at one point um, when I was younger. But you get past it. But I honestly believe some of that was because I didn't really, really, really love myself. I was so uncomfortable with myself that when I would make a decision and it wasn't the right one or I would make a decision and I was just uneasy with the outcome that I would blame myself or I just would... Um... Yeah, I pretty much would just, I would, it pretty much has to do, I would blame myself. And I would do that because it's like, if you would have made a better decision, da, 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 but if you love yourself and if you're confident and no matter the decision, that no matter the outcome, you're like, you know what? I would have still did that because I know that was the best decision for me at that time. And I can take that and I can learn. I can learn from that, learn from my mistakes, and I can keep it moving. Like, it doesn't have to be so melodramatic where the world is coming to an end because it's not. What else about confidence? What else would I tell my younger self? Um, oh, another thing, younger self, Cameron. Um, I know you hate your name. Oh, I hated my name, you guys. I hated my name, Cameron, because I had this situation where one of my friends, I wanted one of my little friends to come over when I was like, like I said, li really young. You know, you just sleep over thing, da da da. And her mom was like, oh no, you can't go over uh, Cameron's house because that's a boy. I'm a whole girl, but I'm a girl. So that was like annoying when I was younger. I mean, now it's like I don't care. 
But I really almost wanted to change my name. Like, it was really that deep. Like, I hated it. But now I was like, Cameron with a K, that's like my thing. That's me. I mean, clearly it's my thing. That's my name. I don't really. <laughs> but, um, I mean, for me, that was a big deal. Like, I hated that. Like, dang, none of my friends can come over because I'm a boy. I'm going to a boy name. Da, 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 da. But ain't no boy, baby. So, honestly, um, I think Cameron Diaz was, like, the first Cameron that I knew that was a girl. So, like, I just loved her. And I was like, oh, my gosh, she's an actress. That's going to be me. See, your name can't be Cameron, even though my, mine's with a K, hers with a C. But still, it was, like, a little bit of light for me. A little bit of light. Okay, so my camera died. But I'm back. What was I saying? Um, I really don't want to be specific because I know some of the people watch my video, but whatever. I noticed in my last relationship that um, I would be scared to do things, like to make comments or I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, I would be so nervous about every little like thing I did. Not so much in the beginning, but just like as the course of the just relationship went on because it was just what's the word I'm looking for it was um I can't think of the word uh a bad relationship I was looking for another word but it was a bad relationship um turned into a bad relationship but moving along um I know I'll be too scared to do things and some of that was because I didn't have self-confidence I was so uncomfortable with everything I did I was so worried about decisions I would make like and self-conscious I was so self-conscious about things. And even now, I have to watch myself. And be like, Cameron, do it. Like, who cares? Just do it, you know? Like, a lot of times you have to be like, just do it. And when you're scared to do things, it, a lot of the time it's because it's a self-conscious or um, a lacking confidence issue um, rather than anything else. So that was definitely something that I noticed. I would just be scared to make certain decisions based off of other people around me. And you have to realize that whatever decision you make is the best decision at that time. Oh, the outcome might not be great. And even sometimes those decisions might not be that good. You need to have enough confidence to in yourself regardless. There's too many times I know I have, and I'm sure some of you guys can relate, that I missed out on opportunities just because I was so scared. I was just too scared to speak up or too scared to do this in the third. And I know a lot of people are like, what? I can't believe that would be you. Like, you seem so outgoing. You seem so spoken. You seem like you have friends, which I do. But it just goes to show that you don't have to be um, isolated or not having friends or whatever the case may be for you to um, still lack self-confidence. No matter how loud you are, no matter how funny you are, um, or whatever the case may be, you still can lack self-confidence. And that was me. I will say that I am definitely in a much better space right now by the grace of God, okay? And, you know, that is one thing. I will have to talk about God. I know some people don't believe, whatever the case may be, but I do. So that's just I, a lot of the um, things that I've dealt with and the things that I've gone through and the things that I've gotten out of are because God helped me through it. So, I mean, I just have to give credit where it's due. I feel like, I feel like this video is all over the place, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. Having self-confidence and confidence in yourself in every single thing you do is just so important. And I feel like it's just not stressed enough. Um, like, for instance, in school they teach you a lot of things, but that's just something that they don't teach you or they don't talk about. And like I said, it's not something that can be taught. But it's just not talked about a lot of the times, which it needs to be. Because whether you're in middle school or high school, we all go through a lot of things. And sometimes our parents or just other adults, they just don't understand. And it's not that they're trying to be naive. It's just that they just can't relate, especially to nowadays. Like this generation, the social media generation, it just changes the game, especially when it comes to confidence. Sometimes I'll catch myself. I'll be on social media. I'll be scrolling. I'm like, dang, her body looks great. Or dang, I wish I had that natural hair type or whatever. And I have to stop myself like, stop, get off. What? girl have that stuff fake you know you have to, I have to remind myself like get it together okay have that stuff is fake um I know y'all probably like what is she doing I'm mixing my foundations <laughs> on this little thing I'm mixing my Maybelline fit me poreless foundation and Revlon I will have both of these down in the um description box below but yeah I'm mixing those because it makes like the perfect color for me but yeah social media can really really put a um a damper on your self-confidence 
because it's just all you see on there is fake, fake, fake. Half the people on there, y'all gotta understand, Photoshop is a thing, okay? Face tune is a thing, body tune, whatever. It's a thing. And people are doing it. And people are trying to flex and act like, oh, this is what they really look like. This is what their body really look like. It's not true. Or you see relationships on social media and they take the best photos, just looks like the happiest couple, but he beating her. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you just have to be careful. Take what you see online for a grain of salt. With a grain of salt. Or whatever the saying is. Like I said, I have to catch myself too sometimes. Still nowadays. I feel like confidence is something that's like an ongoing journey. It's an ongoing journey. I don't care what people say. At one point, everybody has had an issue with confidence. Whether it's um, on a job or starting a new class or... Whatever the case may be. Everybody can relate. The catch is finding a way to deal with, you know, those thoughts and feelings that, oh, shoot, I can't do this or whatever the case may be. And learning to deal with that and know that, you know, that's just the devil talking. Or this too shall pass because there still will be times where, like I said, I had to catch myself and I'm like, Cameron, man up. Like, you know, like I was literally thinking the other day. I was so upset at so many things in my life. Just things going on. I wasn't getting this. I wasn't getting that. I was praying about this. I was praying about that. Wasn't getting it. You know, and then now, so many blessings are coming my way. And I keep thinking, like, there was, there was one point. Oh, my God. I'm not about to cry on YouTube. <laughs> but there was one point in my life that, I can't even say it. But I'm just so blessed to have come this far to be living my life and realize the importance of living my life and just the importance of loving myself y'all don't understand it's it's so important it's so important like it's so important because people will talk about you whether you're doing great whether you're doing bad no matter what people are going to talk the only thing that can be consistent is the love you have for yourself. People and people that love you, whether it's relationship, whatever, like people come and go, but the love for yourself, like that doesn't have to leave. That is something that you can control. Like I said, that's something that will be here. That's just something that can stay consistent because so many things in life aren't consistent. And I really, really wish I could have told my younger self that no matter the pain you're going through, no matter the things people say, no matter the times people laugh at you for love and theater, no matter the looks you get for making a YouTube channel, no matter the doubts people have when you say you want to go to law school, no matter the doubts you have about yourself, when you say one day you just want to be a lawyer, you know, and you'll look up and you will be 23 years old. And you'll be a second year law student. I just can't believe it. You know, sometimes it seems so unbelievable um, that I made it this far. I'm telling you, all the doubt. Oh, God, I've heard it all. You know, I've literally heard it all. The fit, the looks. And you look up and now have a YouTube channel. And you have people. People literally are calling me and asking me for my advice about how to start a channel I don't know I just started too but it's a good feeling because I doubt it myself and it's crazy when you don't feel confident about with yourself that even if no one's saying anything you know no one's saying oh why are you doing this but you just are so uncomfortable and just so on eggshells about every decision but you make that you make up all these things in your head that oh people are saying this or people are gonna do this people are gonna do that people forget what people say that was a moment I was gonna say the f word but I didn't forget what people say seriously go out there and do what you want to do if you want to travel the world do it if you want to get married young do it if you never want to get married do that if you want to dye your hair do it if you want to cut your hair, do it. If you want to wear a wig, do it. Slay on, sis. <laughs> Seriously, if you want to start a YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for approval because you're not going to get it? 
You're going to have people that are going to support you and those same people, once you do it, are going to flip. And then you're going to be upset because you were relying on their support and their words and their things to keep you going. But when you rely on yourself, you're unstoppable. Because there's nothing no one can say to me right now. Um, nothing. Because I'm so blessed. And I've come so far that there's nothing that anybody can say, even myself. Because at times I still doubt myself. At times I wonder, how the heck am I going to get this done? How the heck am I going to do this? How did I get in law school? How me? I don't have the highest GPA. I never did. i tell you this. I made Dean's List this past semester. Mm, I'm about to cry. I'm not going to cry. I made Dean's List this past semester, and I did my first semester. I didn't do that well. But I told myself that I was going to improve, and I did. And I'm so thankful. Oh, my God, y'all. I'm not going to cry, y'all. I'm not going to cry. I did my makeup. I thought I wouldn't get a summer um, job or anything. I, wasn't, I was going on interviews. I wasn't hearing nothing. And then I went. Then I had, like, three or four offers. You know, I was just so overwhelmed with blessings and... That's just how I've been feeling lately. Just so overwhelmed and blessed. Thankful. I have amazing friends. Amazing family. An amazing guy in my life right now. And I'm just really, really overwhelmed with blessings. And so grateful and so thankful. YouTube, I love you guys. So much support. Like, I could never put in words how much I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Minus the negative Nancys, because some of y'all be hating. But, I got self-confidence, so... <laughs> You ain't got no head as you ain't popping. No, I'm just kidding. I just love seeing how much I've grown over the years. Especially when it comes to confidence. Like, I gain confidence and learn how to have confidence every single day in different settings. At my new job. Awkward, like, I'm in a district attorney's office. It's Sometimes it can be intimidating. But I'm there because I deserve to be there. And sometimes you have to tell yourself that. Now, there's a thin line between being cocky and being confident. You don't want to be cocky because a lot of cocky people aren't confident. I don't care what you say. A lot of them are hiding behind this mask of cockiness and they're not even really confident. They probably have, who knows? I don't know. But don't, um, don't stop growing, you know? You all, there'll always be something, you know? I hate to say that. That's what I've learned over time, that there will always be something. Something. But I know one thing is that I can handle it. I can handle it. Whether it's me by myself or with someone by my side, I can do it. And it's one of the best feelings ever to be able to walk with confidence in yourself. Let me tell you, okay? And some days are better than others. Some days I wake up and I'm like, I can't. Like, I just can't with life. You know, like, I can't. Not, like, that intense. But some days I just wake up and I'm just like, I don't even know. But I remind myself, and there's nothing wrong with doing that. I will, daily reminders, I get my scripture out, okay? Read the Bible. Talk to my friends. Something. Don't live in that negative space. A lot of times that's what happens. No one ever wants to go talk about it. And I have to say, being black, especially in the black community, no one ever wants to say, hey, how about you actually get a counselor? I don't have a therapist or anything, but if you need one, go get one. Because your health is so important. So important. Your mental health is so important. Because you can buy a lot of things. You can buy fake boobs, fake butt, fake everything. But your mental health, you can't buy. Now, I have nothing against surgery. Nothing at all. But keep that in mind. God made you a certain way, I promise you. He has a plan, and he made you a certain way for that plan. But embrace what you have. Like, I had to realize that God gave me this. God gave me everything about me. He knows already, like, everything about me. I got to trust in that. I got to trust that, you know? Trust myself. Trust yourself. Really, I got to trust myself enough to know I'm going to make the right decisions. I got to trust myself to know that I'm cute. And even, I, even if I ain't, somebody think I am. <laughs> and then you have to keep in mind that somebody think I'm not. Hey, my cup of tea ain't for everybody. You know, I'm not for everybody, okay? Everybody's not going to like me. People going to have something to say. And that's just the reality of it. 
sorry it's just it and that goes with anybody and i can't i'm gonna still be me regardless you can't stop me and let me tell you that's one of the scariest things for a hater or for a bully be confident be confident and i know it's easier said than done it's easier said than done kill them with kindness i know it's easier said than done trust me I got a slick little mouth, okay? So I be having to watch myself. Like, look, don't even give them no mind. Because that's what they want. They want to bring you down. But you like, look. <laughs> bop. Bop, I'm confident. Bop, I could do it. Bop, you thought. You thought you was going to hold me back. You thought. <laughs> but anyway, I know y'all are probably like, okay, well, you talked about how you ain't confident, blah, blah, blah. We don't give a finna. So I know y'all are thinking, okay. You talked about how you weren't confident. Well, how did you become confident? How do I do it? Honestly, I can't tell you. But what I can tell you is keep trying. I promise you'll get there. There'll be a day you'll wake up and you'll be like, wow. What was I tripping about? The more you live, the more life experiences you gain. Talk about it. Talk to people around you. Be honest with yourself. You know what? Today, I'm just not feeling it. Today, I'm not feeling confident. Figure out why you're feeling that way and flip it. Do stuff you love. I know when I'm accomplishing my goal, I'm making to-do lists. When I clean my apartment, um, when I'm grocery shopping, I love grocery shopping, y'all. I'm like a grandma. <laughs> but when I'm doing things like that, it just builds my confidence because it's things that I love. Do things that you love. Making YouTube videos. I love making YouTube videos. Working at the DA's office. I love working at the DA's office. Talking to my friends. Doing these things. You know, I just love that kind of stuff. And it just makes me, puts me in a better mood because I love it. Um, I have this blush. I don't know. Should I put blush on? I'm scared. I'm going to do this color. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to mix it. Actually, I'm going to mix all three. I'm going to mix all, all four of these. <laughs> this nah this is that halo from the deck of scarlet palette another thing that helps me um feel more confident and just feel better about myself is volunteering you guys volunteer seriously it will make you feel so much better and so thankful for what you have because a lot of things that we be worried about or that we get upset about it's not even that deep not saying that whatever you're upset about isn't serious now don't get me wrong, I hate that when people try to downsize somebody else's feelings about something because what you're going through for you is that serious, you know? And I understand that, I get that. So never let somebody downsize how you feel. If you're upset about something, it's okay. Okay, so now that I put highlight on for days, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go in with my Deco Scarlet palette and I'm going to use that almond color for my lips. I know it's super super just chit chatting and talking all over the place but ultimately what I hope you got from this is that love yourself because nobody will no <laughs> I'm kidding Drake quote or was that a Drake quote anyway I'm just trying to say self-confidence and having confidence is just so important in every aspect of your life I know it's really hard and there's days that you're gonna be like you know what I just don't have it today I just can't and it's okay to have those days but push through push through you guys whatever you're going through it will get better and I promise you there are better days ahead of you I'm literally a testimony it's just so many things right now that are just so positive and going on in my life and just having a positive vibe about yourself will definitely bring positivity um you know you are what you attract a lot of times and it's really a hard pill to swallow I know it took a while for me to get over that but now that I'm in such a better place in my life I can honestly say I see that you know and it's just overwhelming and I'm just blessed and thankful and happy to be in a place where I can say genuinely I do have self-confidence and I love myself unconditionally not in a cocky way not in a braggy way nothing like that but each and every one of you should strive to do that you really really should love yourself I promise you you know but I love each and every one of you I really do appreciate you thank you for making it to the end of this video um 
y'all i just am just so thankful and happy and it's just it's a great feeling it really really is um I wish I would have made notes or something so I could have been like this could have been like a better video but definitely leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and leave me some comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Later.